Hello, my name's John Dexter and welcome to my channel. I'd like to show you how I created this image, um, the ICM intentional camera movement technique, uh, the camera settings and also the post processing. So let's get right into it. This was taken at Corfe Castle in Dorset and this is just to show you roughly the sort of camera movements I was using for this particular image. Um, this will vary depending on the subject you're taking. I was actually taking this in camera multiple exposure of three frames on the dark setting, um, which is quite unusual for my ICM. I normally just take the one frame. Um, but this is the thing, you have to try different things and different camera movements with ICM. As you can see, I'm giving it a little wiggle for the first frame and then two to the left for the other two. Or I'm trying two to the left and one to the right. Um, as I just said, you have to keep trying different types of movement. But I must warn you that what looks good on the back of the camera is not necessarily so when you get it back to the computer. You have a very high throwaway rate with this type of photography. Um, I think I took four to five hundred um, images of Corf that day and out of those I probably got one maybe two keepers. Okay so I'm uh, back home on the computer now looking at the images that I took of Corf Castle the other day. Um, I think there was just under 500 what I do is I go through them all um, and sort of pick out the ones that are rubbish which is trust me a big majority of them but occasionally one will sort of jump out at you and you look at it and you think yeah maybe that could sort of go somewhere so I'll mark it up with a, a one star um, once I've been through them all I'll, I'll come back to the ones I've marked and have another look at them and some of them I'll sort of think, no, actually, I don't think that that's going to make a good image. But the ones that you think will are marked with a two star. Um, in this case, I only ended up with two. Um, one of them was this one, um, which, which I sort of quite like the fact the castle ruins were sort of dominant in the image. Um, I quite like this swirling effect and also the effect I ended up in the sky. Um, I'll show you in a minute some images that I didn't keep um, to give you an idea of the sort of rubbish you do get with ICM photography. These ones uh, I didn't pick out as having potential on the day but I never actually delete any of my images because I think maybe I'll come back to them at another time and sort of have another look at them and think well yeah maybe actually that could go somewhere so I, I do tend to keep them all but it'll give you an idea of the sort of stuff you get with ICM. I'll just run through the camera settings that I uh, had to take this image I must say that this was actually taken the other side of Corfe Castle uh, to what I was showing you in the camera movements. Um, but I, I think the movements were pretty much the same as I was explaining to you before. Um, I always use a neutral density filter on the lens to reduce the light that enters the camera, um, which gives you total control over your shutter speed uh, via the aperture. I did go a little bit more into depth about that in one of my previous videos, so if you want to have a look at that, please do. Um, but I was using a Nikon D500 with a 75 to 210 lens, um, and it had an aperture setting of uh, 6.3, which gave me 15th of a second. Um, I sort of normally aim for around about half a second, but depending on the amount that you're moving the camera obviously depends on how much time you need to do it so you just have to sort of uh, uh, play around with those shutter speeds to give you time um, the ISO was at its base rate of 100 a white balance I, I'd actually got on cloudy because it was a cloudy day but 
I, I'll sort of alternate between cloudy and sunny and sometimes I, I'll just put it on automatic because we're tweaking the colours anyway so it really doesn't matter but that, that was about it as far as the camera settings go. When I was showing you the uh, camera movements um, I showed you that in the multiple exposure I uh, gave the camera a little wiggle in the first um, frame um, which basically has given me uh, this detail in the castle. Now I must say if I hadn't given it a little wiggle um, the detail would be very sharp and you know I, that that's not really the sort of um, look I'm, I'm going for. Um, I want a bit of detail but not too much detail um, and then when I move the camera to the left a couple of times quite fast and sort of twisted it round that's given me this sort of swirly effect and also th th this effect in the sky. I'm just going to run through um, a few of the things that I did in post-processing to this image. Um, I'm not going to sort of teach you how to edit a photo because I'm sure you're as capable as I am and you're probably using a different program. I'm using Capture and X2 um, which I absolutely love I might add. Um, but it's a case of what you think works for the image. Um, it's just a case of uh, playing around with it. And you sort of look at the image and you think, well, where do I want this to go? You know, and in this case, I didn't particularly like the sort of um, greenish here. It just didn't really do anything for it. So I, I put in um, some control points, uh, which, which actually let me just put those up, which actually made this a, a much more pleasing colour, I thought. Um, I just sort of tweaked all the different settings until I got what I wanted. The two in the sky were actually there. Let me just knock those off a minute. I didn't want this yellow in the sky here. So these two control points were put in to, just to basically bring the sky back to the way it was. The second thing I did was um, levels and curves. Now I just basically um, brightened the image up a little bit. There was a little bit on the dark side. Just, so I just, just brought that over a bit, um, which gave me that. Um, now noise reduction, you always tend to get a little bit of grain in um, ICM photography. Um, but not a great deal um, and I usually put a s small uh, noise reduction in there. Um, I usually just go up to 10% to be honest and I, f I find that that's absolutely fine. So not a lot, ju just a little bit but it, it, um, it, it sort of makes the image cleaner. And the um, final thing I did was I put in a tiny crop. I didn't really like this bit here, um, so once I'd once I'd cropped it, um, I sort of cut that out. It, it's not a big crop, but you know, I th I think it it just sort of balances the image up a little bit. So there's not actually a great deal I did to this image. Um, I probably spent you know 10-15 minutes on it. Um, some images I, I will spend two or three hours, you know, to get it get it how I want. And even some images I'll spend an hour on it. And it, I, I just think this is going absolutely nowhere, you know, and I, I just scrap the whole thing completely. So, um, you know, give it a go. See how you get on. And I've got to say, I, I was very amazed and, and very honoured to um, get an award from the National a photographic society for this image which, which did surprise me. So there you have it I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and it's even inspired you to get out there and jiggle the camera around a bit. It's so much fun and you really don't know what you're going to get. So please leave a comment below and if you've liked this video please subscribe to my channel because it'll really help me make more videos in the future. So this is John Dexter, bye for now.